Prosecutors say the dad was working from behind bars, getting that personal information from inmates, then giving it to his wife and daughter who were on the outside, then filing for unemployment benefits. Court documents reveal that Bubble Jones was locked up at the Nottaway Correctional Center. Prosecutors claim his daughter, Kanisha Parker, and wife, Tamara Parker, successfully took inmate information and filed unemployment benefits for 27 inmates from the prison over the course of six months. Court documents show that the daughter used the benefits to buy a Mercedes and get cosmetic surgery. It states the mom bought a Tahoe and paid attorney fees for other relatives. Other money was supposedly put back into the dad's jail account. The court documents show the inmates information who was used did get some of the money put into their accounts but prosecutors say that the family kept most of it and this is how much we're talking about through the scheme the VEC allegedly paid out three hundred and eighty two thousand dollars once they realized what was going on they were able to get back ninety six thousand but that's still a loss of more than two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars of your tax money news three has previously interviewed legal analyst Sonny Stallings about this ongoing fraud issue it amazes me they were able to get this much money without more safeguards in place. A News 3 investigation revealed that in other cases, inmates claimed that their personal information was stolen and that this impacted their potential for a pardon from former Governor Ralph Northam. I didn't have anything to do with it, and I feel like whoever did, they need to get prosecuted because this is hindering possibly my freedom. According to federal documents, the VEC paid out more than $40 million to individuals who submitted claims on behalf of ineligible inmates. The VEC tells News 3 today they can't comment on pending litigation. Andrew Sachs is the attorney for the daughter who says that his client is a young woman who has no prior criminal history and she should be treated with special consideration in this case. Attorneys for the other two suspects did not get back to us just yet. In Norfolk, Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.